Hey guys, uh, so I'm back in Alaska, back to work, and I'm away from my beautiful wife and my adorable children, and yes, it does suck. It does suck to be away uh, for as long as I am, especially during this pandemic time when I'm away for longer than normal, and I am trying to remedy that situation. But in the meanwhile, this is the life I've chosen, and... Uh, I have to deal with the the positives and the negatives. So, a lot of people ask me, why do you why do you do that? Um, you know, why not <clears throat> why not just bring your family to the states and, and get a regular job and work in the states? Um, well, <clears throat> so I, I have a plan, right? And. Uh, as it stands, you know, I'm able to, um, I'm able to support my family in the Philippines uh, on like a quarter of my income, which means that I've got a good amount of income left over every year to invest in my future and my family's future and our, our lives and lifestyles, whatever that would be. And in the meanwhile, while my kids are young, uh, when I'm working hard, my my wife has support. She's got family uh, in the Philippines, sisters, uh, friends, and also uh, we can afford to have nannies. So she's got she's got the help uh, at the house with <clears throat> with the kids and with looking after the kids and, and with, um, you know, house, household uh, chores and things like that. So she's got the support she needs and uh, she's got, you know, money for everything she needs plus kids' activities. We can, we can afford more, um, more experiences, more activities, more things like that. And in the meanwhile, like I said, um, I'm able to save a lot of money and invest in the future. And so what <clears throat> those investments look like for me is uh, primarily I'm investing in rental properties because I'm trying to develop a passive income portfolio so that I don't have to work. And <clears throat> that reality uh, was going pretty well for a while. Although this last year has been a challenge with the pandemic and tenants not paying. And uh, I've had some other uh, challenges <laughs> as well. So that whole goal is probably delayed uh, a few years, which is okay. Um, but anyway, so I wanted to, um, I want to sh share this with you and, and because I want to, I want to also share information about um, how to do that. You know, like how to uh, how to develop passive incomes and how to use geo arbitrage to to earn income, uh, whether it's through rental properties or rotational jobs or working remotely or you know digital entrepreneurship or whatever that you can do uh, and earn money in dollars euros, pounds, whatever, and then spend it in uh, pesos or, or any other currency that you get in a good exchange rate on. So, yeah, that so that concept, <clears throat> the concept of doing that is called geo-arbitrage, and it's a great way to leverage your uh, finances, your personal finances when you're, you know, if, it, if, if you're finding it hard to make ends meet in America. So, um, <clears throat> I've, I've, in my career field, um, there's, you know, when you, I work contracting, right now I work uh, military contracting in Alaska uh, on a rotational job. But I've also worked in uh, Saudi Arabia and Germany, and um, and the 
one of the cool things about contracting is, uh, well, there's a lot of cool things, in, especially in a rotational situation like I'm in. When I'm at work, my expenses are typically paid for. So housing, food, um, utilities, any, any, any expenses I have are paid for. And uh, even if, you know, I know there's <laughs> plenty of jobs and careers where you can maybe even make better money, <clears throat> but when you look at having all your expenses paid for, and a lot of the people in my career field don't necessarily even have degrees, um, and so therefore, you know, I, I think my career field is accessible to people who might be tradespeople or, or have uh, skill sets that aren't college degrees. And it's a great way for, for you know, the people who are, who are willing to work in difficult conditions and situations, uh, sometimes, you know, hazardous situations or dangerous situations or whatever, if you're willing to have a little bit of an adventure <laughs> in your working life, um, you can you can make decent money and then uh, given the fact that a lot of your expenses are covered, you can save a lot of that money and if you choose to, uh, like in my situation, live in a country where you can, where it's uh, low cost of living, then you can save even more of that money and invest it in things like uh, cash flow positive, income producing, rental properties and things like that. So, so that's what I've been doing. That's my plan. That's why I'm doing what I'm doing. Uh, it is a sacrifice being away from family, uh, especially being away from my kids. Um, <clears throat> it's not a sacrifice I want to continue indefinitely. Uh, as my kids get older and older, I, you know, anytime I'm away from them, I, I, it's heartbreaking and I feel like I'm missing out, but um, I do think we're, I'm building something, you know, for, uh, I'm building a cool life for my family, and I do want to stop this contracting uh, before my kids are, you know, fully grown up, hopefully before they're in, even in middle school. Um, and then be a stay-at-home full-time dad, you know, uh, and just give them an awesome, yeah, experiential uh, upbringing, you know, full of cool activities and um, sports and projects and whatever they're into, you know, just uh, be able to pursue all that stuff with them. So that's uh, that's why I'm doing what I'm doing. That's why I'm away from my family. And uh, that's my plan, and I hope it works out. And, <laughs> you know, uh, I, I guess I, I hope, uh, you know, I hope you wouldn't judge me too harshly on, on uh, the fact that I'm away from my family for periods of times, because uh, it is a sacrifice, and it's a sacrifice for them too. And it, it does suck, uh, the times away suck in that respect, but, but it's, uh, we're building something. It's uh, it's for a purpose. So, so yeah. So uh, that's I'm not. So that's that's part of what I'm gonna give you in this channel too. Uh, I'm gonna talk about my my finances and my and my plan and, and uh, what I'm doing with regards to that. Um, and the purpose there again is to give you guys some some alternative ideas for. For how to design your life, you know, it's, a, it's I guess it's a lifestyle design thing. So it's not, it's not strictly a cost of living in the Philippines type of, or Philippines uh, specific channel. Although that's a, that's a, you know, that is my life right now or, or a segment of my life. So there's going to be a lot of that too, and I think that's a good option for a lot of people. Uh, you know, an Eng a primarily English speaking. Uh, you know, foreign country where the cost of living is really low and, and Americans are pretty pretty welcome. Uh, I think Philippines is a good choice. But of course there's other places you can do the same thing. Um, 
So anyways, yeah, so this is this is what I'm gonna share on this channel. Um, <clears throat> hopefully you'll you'll learn something and hopefully I'll I'll learn by uh, by sharing and by teaching. And uh, yeah. So cheers. I'll uh, I'll see you on the next one.